only inhabited by freaks and geeks, but also a dwarf named Carlos. A journey to the gumdrop house on the left lane and whose boundaries depend on your own mental health. That's a signpost up ahead. Pay me what you owe me. Life always has a little bit of everything for every one of us. Some nice surprises, tragic losses, new allies, betrayals. We all wish we could go so, Game of Thrones? change some of the mistakes we've made in our lives. But what happens when the man who's been given that opportunity is a sociopathic kleptomaniac good for nothing moron. <laughs> okay. Dude, honestly, he never comes out of his room. I haven't seen him for like six months. I don't even remember what his face looks like. <laughs> he doesn't even come out to go to the bathroom? No, I'd imagine that's what all the buckets are for. Ah, I bet he's dead. Nah, he uses growls to communicate. Growls? Randall, you're not talking about our wedding present, are you? Relax, honey. We're talking about his roommate. Yeah, plus it looks like my present won't be able to growl anyway. Science is still pretty far from being able to create a rapping pig. I'll have to think of something else, man. Don't worry, dude. It's the thought that counts. Guys, I don't want any scenes at my wedding. Is that asking too much? <laughs> scenes? What do you mean by scenes? <laughs> So, you know exactly what I mean. We've been friends for a long time now, and I know what your idea of an unforgettable experience is. Okay, so I'm whatever. He's not Matt. That's Dante. I'm calling him Dante from now on. Yeah, I'm we're going with that one. When I gave that carload of nuns directions to a lesbian bar. <laughs> That was quite unforgettable. It was, <laughs> and I'd be lying if I said it wasn't funny, but I'm telling you, I don't want any kind of weird stuff at my wedding. It's going to be the most important day of my life, and I don't want you guys to ruin it. Well, it's your call, but everybody knows okay, Dante. he can be really romantic when he wants to. Everybody? How come I don't then? Oh, come on, Sally. I tell you I love you almost every day. I'm super romantic. Yeah, sure. Do you mean when you belch it or when you say it in binary code? No, he means when he belches it in binary code. That always gives it his all. You can tell by the way he almost gags when he's doing it. Oh, by the way... Where are you going on your honeymoon? Well, I think Italy would be really romantic. The Big Ben, Eiffel Tower, the Pantheon. I just love to go there. Oh, Sally, I told you all that stuff is in Germany. Libya is still my top choice. I'm dying to see the pyramids. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's gonna be one of these games. Uh, All right. Some kind of beer, I think. Yeah, something like that. I miss the grog era. Those were the days. You bet. So, are you guys gonna live in Matt's place? Yep. Well, that was the plan, but I'm already looking for a new place. What? You want to move out? Come on, my mother just got us the Stovomatic 9000. I don't get it. I'm going to the restroom. Can you get us two more beers when you're done, honey? More booze? That way you'll look even hotter. Just promise me you won't puke this time. Hey, come on. You can't promise that. Sally, if we're getting married, you have to trust me. Besides, I don't like puking anymore. I feel scammed because, you know, I pay for the stuff that comes out of me. It's just that, you know, huh. I thought we'd be doing something more romantic to celebrate our engagement. Uh, you know what would be really romantic? Let me guess. Another round? 
Sally, how could you know me so well? I, I wouldn't drink in that place. Dude, check this out. It's the engagement ring I got for Sally. What do you think? Sure looks expensive. Well, it's your money. That's just the best part. It cost me a Dorito. That is impossible, Matt. You stole it, you can tell me. Sometimes I take stuff that's not mine, too. I know. Everybody knows. But I didn't steal it, dude. I got it from a bum that lives around my neighborhood. Then I think he likes you. It was really weird. The guy was all out of his mind. He was going on and on about how this ring ruined his life, that it was cursed, that it would destroy the world. <laughs> Maybe that was a metaphor. Dude, you just gave him some Doritos and he gave you a ring? Yeah. I think he likes you. Come on, Randall. The point is that I took it to a guy who told me that it's 780.563 karat gold. And somehow it's sapphire, ruby, diamond, and emerald plated. It also cuts glass, jumps towards cars. Really? May I hold it? Dude, you're my best friend. That's why you're here. But I'll never let this ring near those kleptomaniac paws of yours. You'll never forgive me for the robo-calculator incident, right? <laughs> We were just kids. No, I don't want anyone touching this ring. Whatever. I'm sure she'll love it. Looks nice. Nice? Nice? This ring is better than nice. It's the most fantastic, wondrous ring in the world. The more I look at it, the more I want to keep it for myself. What are you going to keep for yourself? <laughs> the, uh, uh, puke, sweetie. No throwing up today! Oh, well, here we go, guys. Last round. <laughs> Garbage everywhere, as far as the eye can see. And it's not a problem that it is literally starting to stink. All right, I probably would drink there will attack if... me if I go near his door. I really think he's dead. No, dude, I told you. He uses growls to communicate. Guys, we're supposed to be celebrating our engagement. Why are we talking about Randall's roommate again? Shh, don't worry about it, honey. That freak is dead. Okay, I would drink there only if it was like dollar beers every night. Where are you getting married? Oh, I really love St. Gilbert's Catholic Church, but Matt heard there's a three-headed monkey buried in the catacombs. Now it gives me the creeps. Really? I can't think about anything else. <laughs> you remind me of a couple of alcoholic hamsters I had when we were in school. They had a very long life. Remember, Matt? I just hope we don't end up like those poor rodents. Dude, don't make me feel bad about that. <laughs> I don't even know how they got in the oven. I guess they were dazed and confused from all the stress in the oven. May they rest in peace. <laughs> I... I think I drank enough for today. What? Honey, you should stop too. Me? Why? Matt, I don't like it when each of your eyes is looking off in a different direction at the same time. Really? I love that. No. <laughs> Seriously, Matt, that's enough for today. I'm okay. He's okay. <laughs> Can you go check on him? I don't want him ruining another pair of my shoes. I told you, you can't keep him from puking. It's like, I don't know, mutant power or something. I just hope he slows down on the alcohol after the wedding. Oh, I'm sure after a month or two of marriage bliss, he'll move on to something stronger. I don't know, heroin method. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's good shot going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Classic Matt. Hey, Matt! Should I grab Father Roy to perform an exorcism? You seem to have a little projectile vomiting going on. <laughs> well, at least you don't throw up lying on your back anymore. Well, I'm a grown-up now. I can't remember what we used to call that one. Can you believe it? Wait, I think I got it. Dr. Griffin's full face mask? You're not even close. <coughs> ah, dude, damn it. What was it? Vesuvius Matt. Vesuvius Matt stops people in their tracks. That's it. <coughs> dude, you know what I think about you drinking that much. I know, dude. That a party's not a party till Matt Griffin starts puking it up. Exactly. But I'm kind of worried about you, you know? You don't even show your food anymore. I think I just saw a whole nugget. You know, I saw this documentary about pigeons the other day and the way they're ahead of us. They just gulp everything down and let their stomachs do the rest. Well, they also hang out on telephone wires and shit on people's heads. You gonna do that too? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Matt. I love to spend my entire paycheck on booze just like the next guy. But you might want to show a little self-control, huh? I know, dude. Life's taught me a valuable lesson today. Really? What's that? You should always check for homeless people behind the dumpster before you start puking. Um, how pissed is Sally? Come on, she just cares about you. Me, on the other hand, all I do is watch you laugh in the face of death every day. And believe me, death is the one who really must be pissed at you. Okay, I think I'm done here. I'll get out. You and you are. Yeah, I know how you roll. One, no hugs. Two, no sharing. Three, no talking to strangers. And you forgot the most important one. No altering the space-time continuum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Suvius Matt is up and about again. Follow me, Randall, and don't lose me, cause this night's gonna be legendary. Um, Matt, you drop. No. Yoink! <laughs> Did you hear that, Randall? I think it's arrived. Hurry up! Hey, honey! I'm feeling much better now. Excellent. Now you can explain to me what the hell this woman is doing here with that animal at my wedding shower. Yeah, um... Listen, sweetie, um... <laughs> Please, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to announce that the donkey has arrived. Let the magic commence. <laughs> oh, please tell me when I get to the credits that, like, Kevin Smith and him both wrote this, wrote this game. I better get moving. I think I'm supposed to be working today.
Mortimer, I'm off to work. Oh man, is that my hangover? Or is death knocking at my door again? Whoever you are, I just want you to know I have my father's gun and a scorching case Randall of Randall Hicks, cut the shit and open the door. Mr. Marconi? Yeah, they sure may publish his clearing house. Open this door! Oh, whew. I'm so glad it's you. But please, don't ever do that again. God damn it, Hicks. Do what? Scare me like that. I nearly turned my Fruit of the Looms into a fudge factory. Damn, <laughs> Cannelloni. Did you just call me Cannelloni? Oh, come on, listen. I've had a terrible night. I swear somebody was whispering in my ear over and over that I'm cursed. And I'm fairly certain I pissed in my closet again. Oh, do you know what day it is? Be landlord's day when you go house to house letting tenants off their rent? Very funny. Your rent takes. As usual, you're late. I don't see my money. Neither do I, Mr. Marconi. But come on, it's only a couple of days late. No big deal. You owe me three months. Oh. Well, there must have been some kind of problem with the paperwork. Damn bureaucracy. Let me talk to my financial advisor. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Ah, Hicks, you need a financial advisor like I need ballerina shoes. That's lame. Well, what about the time I tried to pay you in gold coins? Those were bottle caps painted gold. Took me three weeks to get the paint off my hands. Mr. Marconi, I've been meaning to talk to you, but I don't think you're going to like what I'm about to say. I'm sure I will. I have the feeling we're growing apart. What are you talking about? I've met someone else. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love you and all, but I just don't think this is good. <laughs> what the hell? Please, don't say anything. It's better to end now before desire takes over. Uh... Just hold me for one last time. God damn it, just give me my damn money. I'm sick of you. Mr. Marconi, I have a problem. You were born with a problem. No, I wasn't. The thing is, my job's been getting me down lately. I'm being exploited, you know? There are always hundreds of orders that have to be delivered on their due date and in perfect condition. And do you know what the worst part is? I don't care. The customers, they're only worried about themselves. They never thank me or say, have a nice day. They treat me like dirt, you know? Like I have no feelings. They always say things like, the package is smashed. The package shouldn't drip. This is not the address you're looking for. Is it too much to ask that they just sign for their damn delivery and keep their smashed packages? Randall. Yes, Mr. Marconi? You work for the town's worst customer service, and you spend more time trying to think of ways to get out of work than you do actually working. Whoa, 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 Mr. Marconi. That's not entirely true. It is entirely true. Randall, you're like a son to me. You know what that means, don't you? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no, you know, I can go with that one or this one. That we're finally gonna have that talk about the birds and the bees? Jesus H. Christ. Your parents must feel like schmucks for feeding you and cleaning your cage so long. Thank you, Mr. Marconi. You're like the father I always wanted. This year I'll make you a special card for Father's Day with macaroni and glitter. Oh, you wear me out, Hicks. You could learn something from that roommate of yours, Mortimer. Now there's a real hard work. What are you talking about? The guy hasn't come out of his room for months. Mortimer is the perfect tenant. He keeps it down and never gives me any trouble. All you do is make my life miserable. Mr. Marconi, we already had this conversation, and I promised you, no more megaphone after 10 o'clock. And as far as I know, Mortimer doesn't even speak our language. 
Leave him alone. You should try and be more responsible, Hicks. Eh? Do something with your life, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. By the way, you said you'd give me back my megaphone. I want my money now. Now that you mention Mortimer, he's the one that should have paid. Oh. oh, I just had what alcoholics refer to as a moment of clarity. I gave my half to Mortimer last week. That's enough, Hicks. Your roommate is a busy man, so leave him out of your lives. Go back in there and fix this. I'm not moving from here until you pay up. You know, Mr. Marconi, there's this rumor spreading that you've got so much money that you don't know what to do with it all. What? Do I look like a rich man to you, Hicks? Well, now that you mention it, you kind of look like you should be living in a garbage can. Very funny, Hicks. You know what? One call and I can have you turned into fish food. Nah, I'm not really fond of marine fauna. But if there's one thing that's clear, it's you're a wealthy man. So you won't even notice if I don't pay you this month either. Hicks. All right, Mr. Marconi. I'll see what I can do. Mm. Mortimer! The landlord was just here. He said something about debt and something about ripping off body parts. So please, get out of your crypt so we can figure this out. Oh yeah, and he said he hates you. Mortimer, cut it out and give me the money or you're gonna wake up tomorrow with my head in your bed. And you'll be next. Cause when I tell him you've been writing Mrs. Marconi love letters, you're going down too, buddy. <laughs> I didn't get a single word of that. I think we made it clear with that. One growl means no, two growls means yes. You just made me want to break down the door and stomp on your head. Wait a second. Three growls now? Dude, we said two means yes, one means no. But three? What's that all about? Mortimer, I'll never understand this language of yours. Can we please go back to Klingon? Not what I want it. Well, oh, good morning, Mr. Marconi. So good to see you. Can I help you? Kid, if you really do place any kind of value on your pathetic life, you better stop wasting my time and go get my money. So I can't pay him with Matt's wallet. I think some of those pepperoni slices are reproducing themselves by mitosis. Ah, someone better clean. Now 
now is not. Crazy. I quit playing that machine years ago. I only keep it for its ornamental value and because I can't move it. There we go. Ah, why on earth would I take a sock? Let's just leave it there. Wow, look at that. And I still have some wire left. Nonsense. Mortimer! Ah, screw him. Well? Oh, hey! Your beloved tenant Mortimer wants me to tell you this. <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. Kid, if you really do place any kind of value on your pathetic life, you better stop wasting my time and go get my money. about it. That's Matt's wallet. Ooh, what a great invention. I used those to wrap up my sandwich yesterday. Eh, I would mess it all up. Some leftovers from yesterday's sandwich. escape huh yeah good idea I like that metallic noise they make makes me feel safe what the hell was that was that the fire escape maybe we should think this through although I bet it's not as frightening as old Marconi's hairy vein Or maybe it is. Judging by that noise, I'd say there's some scary-ass creature in that alley. <laughs> oh, freeze. Whoa, whoa, seriously. I'm relatively too young to die. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna die here. But at least I will look death in the eye and say, I'm not afraid of you! Wow, all 
this over a stupid, filthy cat. Well, that's embarrassing. Luckily, no one saw me, except for the cat and Mrs. Grozer, of course. Hello, Mrs. Grozer. How's it going? And how's Mr. Grozer doing? Is his hip any better? I'm truly sorry about the roller skate incident. I should have known that pushing him down the stairs was not a good idea. I normally tell people it was Mortimer. Mrs. Grozer, may I come in? I need to get down to the street, but I can't get through my door. Can you hear me? God damn it, are you deaf or stuffed? Uh, I'll just have to go face this stupid cat. A stupid flower pot? You want me to take that as well? Why? Man, that cat sounds just like Matt when he retches. Wonder if it too drank a case and a half of beer. Jeez! So I'm thinking I gotta use this with that. Am I correct? Yes, yes I am! Phew! Perfect. I got rid of that stinking cat and now the coast is clear. Things are looking up. You're cursed. Huh? You're cursed. Um, what now? Cursed. Cursed? So that wasn't my imagination after all. You're cursed. Aw, oh, man. Was that you in my ear all night? I had a hell of a night because of you. Worst night since I ate that three-year-old jar of mayonnaise. Wait till I get down there. You're cursed. That does it. No one curses Randall. Bye-bye, Mrs. Grozer. Say hi to Mr. Grozer. You're cursed! Shit! What are the odds? Whew, that was close. I feel like I'm gonna puke my heart out. Whew! This must be what freedom tastes like. You're cursed! Easy, easy. I haven't forgotten about you. Let me just check and make sure everything is where it should be, then I'll decide whether to face you or get the hell out of here. Just after I throw a rock at your face or something. I'd better leave him alone. I know he's small, but... They're more dangerous than bears. Hey, it's a little chihuahua. Hmm, his name is on the collar. I think it's Barkley. So, you're a bum, huh? And who are you? What? You don't even know I'm the victim of your nighttime screaming? I think you're a mistake. The cat went that way. Oh boy, poor old man. The alcohol's pickled your brain. Listen, your problem is that you haven't been with a girl in a long time, if ever. Am I right? Listen, bum, I've got two words for you. Shut the fuck up. They say a little knowledge is a dangerous thing, but... What of the man who possesses too much knowledge? Well, he won't end up living in an alley, that's for sure. So where did you learn that saying anyway? On a TV show or something? No. You mean yes? No. Oh, really? Because I think I heard that one on the scary door last week. I said no. Us bums don't watch sci-fi shows. Haha. <laughs> you just gave yourself away, old man. No. I don't think so. Okay, whatever. Take care, old man, and stay out of trouble. You don't want to end up getting grounded. We'll meet again. Can't wait. You're cursed! Well, you can't deny it now. You just said it. I heard you. Said what? Why are you torturing me like this? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Not yet, but you will. Oh, God. I know you're kind. I have my own problems, too, you know. My boss and my landlord are boneheads, and they're both pissed at me. And if I don't deal with them soon, I might end up living down here with you. 
If knowledge is power and power corrupts, how will humankind ever survive? Oh my god, those lame sayings again, really? Aren't you supposed to pay a copyright on them or something? Not me. Okay, great. So in summary, you're a bum and I'm cursed. Yes. Aha! Didn't you say you knew nothing about it? That was just an opinion. I think you're cursed and I can help. Look, I'm sorry. I don't accept help from demented old bums that yell stuff at people. That's gotten me into trouble before. Okay, but take my card at least. If you need any help, just call me. What? This? This is a rusty old razor blade. There's no phone number on it. I don't think he needs a hug. <laughs> One pass, please. Uh-huh. Six letters down. I'm sorry, but I'm kind of in a rush here. I'm late for work, you know? Three letters across, farm animal. Oh my god, excuse me. Can I get a pass, please? <sighs> One moment, please. I'll be with you in a second, sir. Just please stay on the line. Did she just say stay on the line? Oh my god, a pass, a pass, a pass! I'll be with you in a second, sir. Please stay on the line. Your call is very important to us. Oh, great. So this is one of those days, huh? God, I'm not even supposed to be at work today. Oh, well, yes I am, but I don't feel like it. All I want is a damn pass. Combination of electronic devices and biological matter. Six letters. What? You know what? I'm out of here. You break my heart. Hmm. Nothing interesting. service. Nothing interesting. So I gotta deal with her. Okay. Stuck the salesman. What's wrong, buddy? You look pretty bummed. Oh, it's a mess. I'm gonna have to deal with every backward-ass fuck on the planet, and I'll get fired if I don't make a sale before the weekend. Hey, hey, would you be interested in purchasing a set of Wondermatic products? We use the most state-of-the-art technology. No, hey, sorry, I'm not interested. I'm late for work, and I'm really not into listening to complete strangers whining. As far as actually helping them, well, mm -mm. Uh, I see. Well, okay then, well, have a nice day. Oh, look at those puppy dog eyes. Now I feel sorry for him. If 
I talk to her again, things could get ugly. No way. The extendable duck is for serious business only. That makes no sense. I can't use... I can't use the right... Oh no, the ring stays with me. No, it's attached to the table. Emergency Railway Helpline, what is your emergency? I need surgical equipment right away! This man is bleeding to death. I'm sorry, but I'm really busy right now, and if there's blood, you better clean it up before you leave. You know, I tend to avoid total strangers. I still don't have my pass. Hey, what do you think you're doing, boy? Uh, well, nothing. Mr. Kong as the bad guy. Those were the days. That's kind of absurd. Ah, uh, I better not do that. This thing has already stole my childhood and half my adolescence. The mother of all portable councils. Reapwood Street Station. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Maybe I can figure this out. You know, I usually try to avoid... To I'm not looking for trouble. Old Marconi and that angry vein are still waiting for me. I can hear them breathing. I should wait a little longer. So I'm missing something. Are you kidding? Ah, that hole's been closed for some time now. Pity, though. It's the only place that had the uncensored version of Mary Poppins. Full frontal nudity, man. I don't know how I feel about that.
Emergency railway helpline. What is your emergency? Has anyone ever told you you look just like the sea witch from The Little Mermaid? Oh, well, no. But it's good to know. Sayonara! I think that's just for emergencies. like it's out of service. I love seeing people working hard. If I talk to her again, things could get ugly. I love seeing people working hard. Hmm, there's some kind of barrier between us. I think it's glass. That's my most useful item. I'm not giving it away. Am I going to have to look a walkthrough up already? I get it's got to deal with the intercom. And... Let's go back to the alley and... Talk to the homeless dude again, maybe he's got an idea. I'm gonna find anything useful in there. Come here, boy. Come on. Come to daddy. Nah, he's not paying me any attention. Emergency so this, railway helpline. What is your emergency? This is the shittiest. Never mind. I... There's an ugly old bag in charge of the box office. Please do something. I don't know who you are, but fuck off! Now I've got to walk the whole way back out. The whole fucking way down here. The whole way back.
that doesn't even work. Alright, can I walk past the fucking soap bar? Fuck it. I'll be right back, folks. I gotta look this up. Okay. Oh. That's why it resets, because I didn't find something. Okay. Yeah, that's how pissed I am right now. How was I supposed to... Fuck. Forget it's an adventure game. Now I see what I'm supposed to do. wanted to I couldn't do it the cap is stuck on there you go if I want that to work I should probably lift the earpiece first right If I want the... No, it's attached to the table. a little old to be jumping the gate? Listen, it's not what you think. Ah, they always say that. It's not. Listen to me, Officer... Officer Murray. To protect and serve. I know your kind. Do you think you can get yourself out of this by playing dumb? Well? Why did you try to sneak in without paying? You know, I, I really want to. Yeah, we're just gonna go that Well, way. I'm a poor, miserable Irish immigrant. Oh, good lord, what will become of me now? Hey, I'm Irish too. What a coincidence. Where are you from?
from the city of uh, what? No way! I'm from there too. So I guess your math teacher was old Duncan McGlentis, right? I mean, yeah. Who else could it be? Ha! Gotcha. Old Duncan McGlentis the second was a geography teacher. You got so busted. You can't go anywhere until I finish the report. Oh, great. Don't tell me I have to wait for Murray to learn how to read. No way! I need to get out of here right now. If I don't make it to work today, my boss is gonna freak out on me. Hmm, it's really tight. I'd rather not... I'm not gonna walk around with... Hey there, Minnie Murray. You're mine now. Hey, wait a second. Arrakis, the Wolfenstein Castle, Tron, Area 51? Wow, you really like traveling. And wieners. That makes no I don't want to glue the... I can't use the razor with that. That's for barbecues. Nope, it's not moving. Hmm, maybe with some kind of lubricant? What, and get squashed? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Go. <laughs> ah, great. Boy, get out of here. Okay, enough goofing around. I need a damn pass and I need it now. Hello again. Could I please have my goddamn pass once and for all? Well, I'm not really sure, you little smart ass. I didn't think too much of your little glue prank. Listen, lady, I gotta go to work and I don't think this is something that requires a police officer's intervention, right? Fine. Here's your stupid pass. Now scram! Yes! Randall wins. Good morning, Vietnam! Well, look who's here. My star employee. My right-hand man. My lucky charm who seems to feel the need to remain incognito. Sometimes I wonder, when will he next grace us with his presence? 
Oh, please, let's not go through that again. You're upset because I'm always late. I can understand that. But it's all down to my orientation problems. In fact, I thought this was my North Vietnamese friend's bird shop. Ah, cut the crap, Hicks! Even my beloved ex-wife will be better at this job than you! It's almost midday, and this package should have been delivered to the annual koala convention hours ago! I have called you like five times, and this foreign guy who doesn't even speak English always picks up, and I always end up insulting him in all the languages I know. God knows I have been more than patient with you, Hicks! That's true, but spare me a little more of your patience and I might just surprise you. For example, that foreign guy you mentioned is Hong. Surprised? Who Hong? Who the hell is Hong? Hong who? My Asian friend, you know, the guy from the bird shop. See, I gave him my business cell phone, and in exchange, I got a cage full of pigeons. Then I used the pigeons to shoot a slow-motion action scene right down my block. Ah, oh, shut up! Please, don't yell at me like that. My landlord has already yelled at me this morning, and I'm so hungover right now. Oh, that reminds me. I need an advance. Are you serious? I can't believe it. Seriously? Um, didn't I make my, um, serious face? I'm sorry. Oh, where to begin? You remember when I told you to close on Friday night and I gave you the key? Of course I do. I'm a good employee. Hey, if you were, you'd be here before 9 o'clock to open up. <laughs> God damn it, Hicks, that's the only key! It's my key! And I trusted you with it, even though I know you've been stealing office supplies. That's because I suffer from kleptomania. And honestly, that doesn't have anything to do with our current issue. It's a sickness, and it's rude for you to bring it up. Ah, shut up! Oh, for the love of God, just shut up and give me that key. I'm just getting started here. Well, hmm. I don't think I've seen any keys in my inventory. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I'm getting the picture. So this is the part where I have to find the key to get the advance and... You lost the damn key? I told you to guard it with your life! And I did. I swear on Super Hot Chick's voluptuous curves. How dare you even speak her name, you vile, shameless pig! Oh, that was way out of line, Mr. Emerson. I could be carrying a tape recorder and sue you, you know? But to be honest, I don't think I've seen a tape recorder in my inventory either. You dare to desecrate my most valued possession? Come on. All this because of a stupid key? What was it, made of platinum or what? Seriously, was it platinum? Because if it was, we have to find it. Forget that damn key! I'm talking about something I keep in my safe, Hicks! You mean that map to Scabs Island? I am talking about a first edition of the official Wonder Comics catalog, published in 1972 with Super Hot Chick wearing all her classic little numbers. Now all I have left is the cover, which is covered in oil stains and smells like tuna! See? Now that kind of rings a bell. Come on, Mr. Emerson, what do you expect me to do? Another joke about my inventory? As I said on my resume, I'm a man with ambition and I always achieve my goals. A lovable rascal, if you will. If I need something, I take it. And honestly, I needed something to wrap my sandwich in. You can't deny that my complete honesty is another good quality to add to my resume, can you? Well, you'd better start updating that doodle napkin you call a resume, Hicks. You're fired! What? You mean, just like that? What did I do? Get out! Whoa, whoa, come on, wait! You have cost me a lot of money, Hicks! Between the locksmith's bill, new locks, all the stuff you've stolen from the office, including a PC. Uh, but I told you, I needed to update my blog. It's not right to do that at work. I'm not done yet. Pens, calculators, the key to the office my father gave me on his deathbed. I knew it had some kind of sentimental value. See, I do pay attention. I'm still not done. I knew that too. Toilet paper, ink cartridges, light bulbs. 
I mean, why would you steal damn light bulbs? Mr. Emerson, allow me to ask you a question. Have you ever felt as if some kind of disturbed maniac was controlling you? Well, I have. I, 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 so I, I, I needed light bulbs to light up a, uh... I don't care! <laughs> you are out of control! And wrecking my catalog was really crossing the line, Hicks. Okay, fine. Just try running this business without me. You're still here. I'm waiting for an apology. You know what, Hicks? I never went to Vietnam, but I took part in the Battle of Mogadishu. And believe me, I saw things there. Well, what a coincidence. That same weekend I spent the whole day killing things in a video game. See? We have something in common. I am seriously considering ripping your heart out, stuffing it into this packet, and mailing it to your mother. Oh, that's it. I quit. I can't work in these conditions. There's just too much hostility. Get the hell out of here! Get out! And don't you ever, ever come back! Okay, okay. Easy, big fella. No, that's Phil's. I'll end up lying on the floor bleeding if I so much as touch it. I don't think that's possible. Man, they have all kinds of crap in here. I don't have a job anymore. Good morning. Good for you. Aloha. What could I pawn so I can get enough money for rent? I kinda need a lot of cash. What have you got? Well... Some pages from the 1972 Wonder Comics official catalog, including some pictures of Super Hot Chick in her classic little outfit, and with very few oil and tuna sticks. Uh, I don't think those are worth anything in that condition. This is a genuine subway pass. It allows you to travel freely around the city. Are you serious? Of course I am. I don't need that. This is an extendable duck hanger. I made it myself. Is it wooden? I have a lot of stainless steel hangers, made by yours truly. This awesome police officer figure? Ah, it's not as if it's Captain Red or anything. This great fake leather wallet that doesn't smell like wet dog? Yeah, I can smell it from here. Not interested. That ring, though. Hey, hold it. I don't remember giving you permission to sniff around my inventory. Easy, kid. It kind of comes with the territory. Well, that ring isn't exactly mine. I just wouldn't feel comfortable selling it because, you know, it... Let me get this straight. That's the only thing you have that's actually worth something, and you don't want to sell it. Well, I mean, it's just that it, it, it's... You know, I think I better keep it. I, I know it's none of my business, but don't you think that guy might be a criminal? I hope so. Don't you think he might be the kind of guy that, you know, could steal something? I guess. But he's my best supplier. Now, I just found this in my grandma's old basement. It's of great sentimental value. Wow, that basement's a gold mine. I already have one of them, but I'll give you a nice wad for it. See? I love that guy. Okay, so... I don't think I have any more business here, then. Thanks, anyway. Oh, wait, kid. Don't just walk out like that. Why don't you have a good look around your place? Maybe you have some useless junk I might be interested in. It 
does seem like you really need the money. Finally, it seems like I think I know where I can find some junkie. Great, just great. How the hell am I gonna pay the rent now? I gotta find a way to make some cash. God damn it, Phil! What'd you do that for? You're such a grudge holder. Damn it! Old Marconi's still here. I'll have to find a way to sneak past him. What do you think? I'm gonna fix it or something? Huh. I better leave him. find that logical If you find that logical, you should stop playing and go rest for a while. I don't think that's a good idea. That makes no sense. Damn it. Sure, sure. I understand. I excuse me, sir. What exactly do you mean when you tell me to jump? Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm Randall. Um, hello, Randall. What's with the long face? Are you laughing at me? Of course. Have you seen you? Well, I'm a Wondermatic product salesman. And I'm having like the worst day. That's why I'm so bummed. Are you happy now? Now and always. So, no sales at all? Just my watch to pay my electric bill. Well, that watch belonged to my grandfather who was shot down over Hanoi. And then Captain Coons had to shove it up his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tragic. Let's talk about puppies. I love puppies. Yeah. My little Susie has been begging me for a puppy for months now, and I don't really know what to tell her. I can't even pay the mortgage anymore. Okay, suddenly talking about puppies is getting me down, <laughs> and I refuse to talk about ponies. So, what is your problem exactly? Problem is that I'm the worst salesman Wondermatic Industries has ever had. It's been two months already since I made my last sale. I can't even sell the cheapest, most basic products. I'm such a loser. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. You know what you should do? You should shit or get off the pot. But what you shouldn't do is just sit around there all day complaining about how miserable you are. It's not that simple, you know? If only I could find some rich loser and sell him the complete deluxe set, my problems would be over. At least for a while. Light bulb. If you're looking for some chump with money, my landlord's a real bonehead, and word is he's sitting on piles of cash. Are you serious? Yeah, although they say that Morlocks are plotting a large-scale offense. So don't take that as gospel. But is your landlord the gullible type? Well, I owe him three months' rent, and he still hasn't kicked me out. 
but I believe there are some father-son issues there, so <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Sounds like a shot. My last chance, maybe. Could you give me his number? I don't mind giving it to you, but I warn you, the guy's a cranky old bastard. You can tell that even his hairy shoulders are angry when you talk to him. <laughs> I don't care. I just gotta try. Well, it's your funeral. It's 555-1013. Oh, and uh, don't call him when there's a full moon. They say that he gets a little out of hand. I'm calling him right now. Hello? Good morning, sir. Do you have a minute? I would like to talk to you about the advantages of our wonderful... Get a real job, scumbag! I failed again. I don't know what I was thinking. I told you, he's a rude, belligerent old man. You also said that he was easy to manipulate, but I can't even keep him on the line for more than two seconds. I can't make a sale like that. I know how you feel, man. He only wants to talk to me if it's to threaten me or call me names. Just like my boss, and my wife, even my kids. Oh, come on, don't give up, man. Go on, try again. What for? He made it very clear he's not interested. Randall, just pissed so, with this So, that's guy. how they do it at Wondermatic, huh? Just because he called you a scumbag, you think he's not interested? You can't just give up on the first hurdle. All right. I'll try. Hello? Good morning, sir. I think there was a problem with the line before. See? Oh, he's right. I'm just a scumbag. Here, let me try. Are you serious? I'm always serious. Except when I find guys I can take advantage of. Then I just can't help lying. I don't really know how to take that. Oh, come on. Give me the phone. You got nothing to lose. Well, that's true enough. Here, do whatever you want. Showtime. Hello? Hello, Mr. Marconi? Would you be interested in buying a bunch of crap manufactured using some really obsolete technology? I don't know how to help you know my name, but unless you want to end up in a whole world of pain, I suggest you stop bothering me, you filthy maggot! Wow, he sounded really aggressive. Well, that's what I expected. You know what, I'm going to call it here guys, and I will pick this back up next Monday at 8 o'clock, so stay tuned.